guys, welcome to my channel, Taking a Bath in the Bathroom is the only place you can place your gadgets in peace. And today we want to review the Hubson 107P X4 Plus. Let's see what's in the box. Alright guys, here we have the H107P Hubson X4 Plus. The plus means that this Hubson right here have altitude hold, meaning that they have a barometer to help maintain the altitude, especially good for new flyers. Go ahead and open up the box. The first thing you see is the user manual. I'm absolutely in love with Hubson user manual. Man, they're very detailed, easy to read. This portion of the user manual is telling us about the transmitter and how to enter into the different settings of the transmitter. You have your prop guard right there for your blades. Go ahead and dig off a little deeper into the box. You have some extra props. You have your USB charger. And you have this nice ergonomic dynamic controller feel real good in your hand it senses have altitude hold which means the throttle control is spring loaded go ahead and turn it to the back and you can see it take four yes four triple a batteries take the quad cop and have a look at it it have a nice design nice paint job i'm loving it it does not have a camera one of the things i love is that it has the led lights at the bottom this make it easier for night flying Go ahead and take out the battery and this, this have a pretty decent sized battery for the size quadcopter it have a 520 milliamp battery and you know i have gotten up to around eight probably more flight time with the altitude hold i can imagine that that's using a lot of batteries also and here's another look in your prop bag i neglected to tell you that you have a screwdriver in there simply turn on your controller like that connect your battery and it will automatically bind soon as the quadcopter realizes the battery. I like the nice LED lights on the front. To arm the motors, you have to go down and out. That's a nice feature. Some of the larger quads and GPS have that function down and out again to arm the motor. And you can see this little thing is ready to go, man. It's ready to fly right off the bat. Before I take it for a flight, I want to show you guys a quick side-by-side -side comparison of a Hudson original S4 and you can see that the body sizes and the difference in paint job. Now you guys seeing that, let's go ahead and take this beautiful flight. Enjoy. Taking the bathroom. The bathroom is the only place you can place your gadgets in peace. And as you can see, during the unboxing and some of the flight, um, this is a pretty good quad cop to fly around in the house. You see, I try to fly in the wind. It really don't like the wind too much, 
but he still was able to get a little flight time in the wind. A very neat little quad copter. I compare it to the other Hubsen that I had. And the, the difference is this is mainly made out of plastic and the other one is, you know, is a harder body. I believe that it would survive the wind better. Also, this right here, the plus, it stands for the, the altitude hold that I have on it. So for new flyers, you can see that this, as I showed in the unboxing, this right here, this throttle right here is spring activated. So it's supposed to be able to hold your altitude and have a barometer in there. So for me, it was like learning how to fly again. Cause this is my first time flying a mini quadcopter with altitude hold. So, and so usually with altitude hold, you just put it where you want it and you fly. To me, I, I, it felt weird to me. After a while, I began to fly. I got the hang of it. But I, I don't know. Maybe I'm old school or something. Or these little small micro quads, I, I prefer not to have the altitude hold. But I can see where it can come in handy for a new beginner where they can enjoy the flight. These come in different versions. You have the um, you have the camel version and the FVP version. If it had a camera on there, I would say that it would be excellent. Um, to you know, go around take pictures, go around filming because it is a steady, smooth flight. I give this part a five stars out of five. I love the controllers. I love the functions of the controllers. You know, the simple fact that they have headless mode, you can press it in. You have, you know, the difference between your expert modes and everything. You can adjust the calibration and stuff. And like most substance um, micro quad copters, you can go into your settings and adjust your sensitivity. So again, five stars out of five. Thank you guys for coming in my bathroom and helping me review my gadgets. Until next time, it's your boy taking the bathroom. The bathroom is the only place you can place your gadgets in peace and peace. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs>